Hello, it's Jenny, and I want to show you my green room. And it's climate control. I've got a fan. I've got a little space heater if I need it, which I don't right now. And I have an AC unit and this thermostat control. So, I've bought greenhouses before, and they just don't cut it for me. It's too hot here in South Carolina, and uh, all it really does is extend your growing season into the winter, and it's just too little, not good enough, but this is working out for me. I brought a bunch of my plants inside, and we'll go through them. I have mostly uh, peppers, tomatoes, and eggplants. So here we go. Here is a banana pepper. How cute is that? And we already have new growth everywhere, as you can see. And just gotta make sure she stays watered. cuttings of aroma tomato I did two days ago. It's looking great. Here is a red cherry. I was going to start all my tomatoes all over again by seed, but I decided there was enough cuttings to give it a shot. So that'll be the update to follow up and see which ones of these cuttings actually make it. But they look great as long as I keep them nice and cool and damp so they root. Here's a smoky cherry. Looks pretty good. I was always told to cut all the leaves and the food off of it, but it just was so cute. I figured I'd bring it in. Plus, I knew what kind of cherry it was when I planted it. It's no mistake. Uh, this is an avocado that I grew from seed, but now I find out I have to graft it with another avocado in order to actually get a good tasting avocado. I watched that video and I put it in the pollination save videos that we love if you want to check it out. Here is some cuttings of the orange tomato I have called pineapple, and I will be planting them soon. I already have some in pots behind me that we'll be getting to. Here is a couple of beefsteak tops, and I only took good healthy cuttings. I cut all the bad leaves off, and even after two frost, I still found quite a bit of green stuff back there. We'll be doing a video of that tomorrow. Here's my purple basil, and there was a couple of regular basils in there. That must have been a mistake. Here's a bunch of seeds that I'm going to be um, planting in here just to give it a shot and see how they go. Here is a purple bell cutting that I took and wanted to bring in, and uh, hopefully we see some new growth on that. I think I already do at the base. Great. And then down here on the floor, I have some herbs, and I'll be bringing in a few more herbs, plus growing a few more by seed. But there's the mint, and then there's uh, basil, regular basil. And um, let's see, that's the rosemary. And then I have a Tabasco pepper plant that got munched on by something, and now it's coming back fully. I think I'm going to remove the bottom, uh, the bottom sprouts so I can focus on the top. And then here is some jalapeno peppers, lots of flowers and new peppers. Yep, we love these in our scrambled eggs. And I've had this plant in here a couple of years. It's already familiar with the indoor light. I bring it in and out by the pot. 
then right here is our newest, which I believe is uh, cayenne. I planted my seed, and we have some that are not red yet, and I'll be grinding them for our new fresh cayenne pepper for street corn. And there's carrots. There must have been a bunch of carrot seeds that didn't germinate, and I reused the soil, and I have a bunch of carrots in here, which that's cool too. Um, here is a red bell pepper that got chomped on. It's already got little flowers, it's so cute. She's trying so hard. So hopefully she gets bigger. And this is a chocolate pepper that I happen to see and save. Some of these have been in here about 10 days. I've been bringing them in slowly. It was a lot of work, but I did it. Let's see. Big Bertha bell pepper. And uh, I see some new growth on with the leaves. So hopefully she gives us some peppers. We'll be able to feed her very well inside. And then we have an orange bell. And there's new growth on this as well. This has been in here for a while. Oh, there's a pepper right there. And then there's an eggplant that was already on this and I'm letting it get really large because I'm going to harvest the seeds. I don't have any more of my own. So that is a Nicobon eggplant. And this one is a red eggplant. I've never seen it before. I'll, we'll go, we could do another video especially once I get one. I forget the name of it, but it's a hot pinkish red eggplant. And this one, I believe, is a white eggplant. And they're really cute. And this one is another red. And that is another red, I believe. And I'm not sure. I got them mixed up when I brought them in. But one of these, out of these four smaller ones, is a white one so hopefully this is that soon and i think that is a regular black beauty eggplant because i didn't have any at the time and i restarted some seeds and so i'll be transplanting that it's well overdue um, this is a black beauty eggplant and it's really big and it's got a lot of buds and flowers on it and if you're wondering how it's getting pollinated in here it's by lizards I haven't seen any, but there was a little short video I posted a few days ago, and uh, of a little lizard in here. It was so cute. He was taking a nice nap in the the rays of the artificial light. And this eggplant was a lot smaller in the same video just a few days ago. I can't believe how big it's growing. Hopefully we get some more. There's like little, little buds and flowers everywhere. So eggplants go far. Oh, there's a little one back there. This is so awesome. And we'll be doing updates. I'll probably just do music to the updates. If there's something major, I'll do a short or a smaller video. I don't really like doing long videos. Uh, just too much. I don't really like watching long videos either. This one's going to be a little long for us because we still got a little ways to go. Not much more. So let's get going. Uh, Mr. Stripey Heirloom Tomato and Indeterminate. And there's the sucker from that. It looks great. And this is another pineapple tomato. And again, I'm going to show you these outside because the ones hugged up against the porch and low to the ground are still just thriving. And there's tomatoes on them. It's crazy. Orange cherry tomato right here, little cutie. Black cherry tomato right there. Lemon boy. Indeterminate hybrid tomato. They look a little floppy, but they'll probably perk up. And then this one is, oh, here we are. The yellow cherry tomato. And this one looks floppy. I should probably pull the tomatoes off and some more leaves and it'll perk back up we'll uh, do an update and let you know some of these might make it some of them might not that's just the way it is but we'll try our best uh, this is a white cherry tomato and these i put in here 
I guess about two or three weeks ago and they're doing really good and they're already producing little tomatoes. It's so cute. Here is my habanero pepper. I've had this for three years, I believe, and this has been in this room as well. And it, it gets really huge. I have to cut it back a few times. And let's see, here is an orange or yellow bell pepper, and it actually has a couple of peppers on there. I'm just waiting for them to turn yellow. And let's see, this back here is another tomato. I believe it's the orange one again, the pineapple tomato. I love them. It's my favorite, as I keep repeating myself. So there you go. There you have it. We are using the Mars Hydro Light uh, 2000, I believe, and I am only at 80%, I believe. It's a great light. I love it. I've had the Mars T600, two of those, and that's what I used last year, and I, I got food. And uh, it looks like this one's going to be doing even better, because this is obviously grown since that last short video. It's super cool.